Hi, Mr. Green again. Uh, I'm going to take you through the next lesson of the physics GCSE uh, electricity topic, which is IV characteristics. We're going to be looking at IV characteristics for different components. That's current voltage characteristics. I'm looking at the graphs that you need to look at for there. Start off with some retrieval practice, as always. Uh, if you could pause the video and attempt these questions. Okay, question one. What's resistance measured in? Well, that's measured in ohms, and there's the symbol, the Greek letter, omega. Question two. What is Ohm's law? Ohm's law is potential difference equals current times resistance, and we can again abbreviate that using the symbols to V equals IR. Question three. What happens to the current in a circuit if resistance increases? Well, resistance is restricting the flow of electricity. It restricts the flow. So if resistance increases, the current decreases. What do we use to measure the potential difference across a component? Well, if we have any sort of equipment that we're using with a series circuit or a parallel circuit, we would use a voltmeter to measure that. And finally, what is the definition of current? Current is the rate of flow of charge in a circuit. So how quickly charge is flowing past a certain point in a circuit. Okay, later that comes today, we're going to see what's meant by an ohmic conductor and explain the current voltage graphs for bulbs, diodes and resistors. First one, if you could just pause that and let me know what you think the trend each graph is showing. So read the graph and state what is happening on each one. Okay, so for graph A, we're seeing a positive correlation there. So as the revision time increases, the grade increases. That's the trend. We need to look at what our axes are and look at what's happening with each one. So as revision time increases, the grade increases. For B, as the attention decreases, what happens to the lesson time? We've got a negative correlation there. So as negative lesson time increases, attention decreases. Question, uh, sorry, graph C, your love of science and the number of science lessons. As the number of science lessons increases, your love of science remains the same. Question D, we've got the dates at the bottom, that's um, the months and how much energy I have. We can see in January we have lots of energy. And then it is a decreasing relationship, a negative correlation. As the months increase, the energy decreases. Question E, stress and the uh, months at the bottom. As the months and time goes on in the year, you'll see that stress increases. For F, is there a relationship there? Well, there's no relationship. The axes aren't labelled, so we can't tell what's happening. When we're looking at a relationship in a graph, we need to see what both axes are labelled as, and we can see how one affects the other. Okay, looking at Ohm's law now. Ohm's law shows us the relationship between current, voltage, and resistance. Ohm's law states that voltage, or potential difference, is current times resistance. And I put on there the, three, uh, the equation triangle so you can see the relationship between all three. Ohm's law states that current is directly proportional to the voltage and also inversely proportional to the resistance. That's the middle um, equation that you can see that states that. So what does this graph show and what's the trend? Looking again at analysing graphs. So from that graph we can see as the height of the person increases, the number of Big Macs that can be eaten per hour also increases. A positive relationship. Second one here, what does this graph show and what's the trend? Okay, again, you need to be looking at the axes. So as the age of the person goes up, what happens to the time to run up 50 stairs? That decreases. Final graph to show us some relationships, how we can look at the graphs and see. So again, you should be looking at the axes. Bottom axis tells us the age of the person. As that increases, what happens to the time spent watching TV? Age of the person increases, the time spent watching TV increases. This isn't directly proportional though, as you can see the line is a curve. So that increases by increasing amounts. Okay, what we can see here is what's called an IV graph. So we've got current and voltage graph. Discuss the trend of that graph and try and describe it in your book in your book, and explain why current may become constant. Okay, the resistance of a bulb will increase as the temperature of the metal filament increases. 
The ions in the metal vibrate more as the temperature increases and this resists the flow of electrons. That line shows us the resistance in there. If the line is horizontal, that means it's a very, very high resistance. If the line is vertical, that's a really low resistance. As you can see at the start of the graph, when the voltage is low and the current are low, it is a resistance relationship. It is a straight line. But as voltage gets a bit higher, that means that the, the metal filament's increasing, and so resistance will change. You need to recognize the pattern on that graph as a filament bulb. Next one, a fixed resistor. The trend of the graph, and describe that in your book. Okay, as you can see, the trend here is a straight line. This obeys Ohm's law. It will be known as an ohmic component. Current flows through the resistor at a constant temperature is directly proportional to the potential difference across it. It increases by the same amount each time. If you double the voltage, you would double the current. Okay? So as voltage increases, current increases. That keeps resistance constant. Okay, let's have a look at the trend line for a diode. So we need to see... What's the diode doing? So we can see on the left hand side of the graph, even if we put the voltage up as high as possible, the current will not flow. On the other side, as we increase the voltage, then the current increases, but by increasing amounts. It's not a fixed relationship. Explain the trend for the graph of a diode. What does the diode do? Well, the right hand side of the graph shows current flowing in one direction. The left hand side shows current flowing in the opposite direction. Pause the video and state what you think that means the diode does. Okay, diode will only let current flow in one direction. So in the forward direction, the line curves towards the current axis. The current's able to flow, but it isn't directly proportional. It will increase by increasing amounts. In the backwards direction, the resistance is really, really high. So current can't flow. So the line's flat, showing that there is no current flowing in that case. Again, you need to recognize this graph and say this is an IV graph or a current voltage graph for a diode. So in summary, there's our three circuits that we need to know. First, top left, top right, and bottom. You need to know what each one of those represents. Top left is a bulb. Bottom is the fixed resistor. And the top right is a diode. You need to recognize each one of those. They will come up in the exam normally as a multiple choice question, or sometimes they'll just show it you and ask you what this one is for. So you need to learn those three. Having a look at other components. This is a thermistor. This is a thermistor where we've got just one at high temperature, one at low temperature. We're going to look in a second what happens when we change the temperature of a thermistor. Thermistor is a straight line, so it's directly proportional. So when a thermistor is at a constant temperature, it acts like an ohmic resistor. As long as it's kept at the same temperature, it acts as a normal resistor. A resistance decreases as temperature increases. Now that's opposite what we find for most metals. As temperature increases, resistance will increase for most metals. But for a thermistor, the opposite is true. A light dependent resistor or an LDR, again, when we keep the light constant, then it acts as an ohmic resistor. So if we have a decent level of light going on, then it will act like a normal ohmic resistor. As the light increases, the resistance decreases. So the higher the light, the lower the resistance. So a thermistor generally is a component which changes resistance due to temperature. As the temperature increases, the thermistor's resistance decreases. Sketch that graph down and try and show a line, draw a line which shows the general trend of a thermistor as the temperature increases. What will happen to the resistance as the temperature increases? Pause the video and attempt that. Okay. That's the sort of line we'll get. So as the temperature increases, the resistance decreases. So what might a thermistor be useful for? You've got one in your house. It helps with your central heating. It helps to change and turn your central heating on and off when a certain temperature has been reached. LDR, so it's a component which changes resistance due to the intensity of light. As the light intensity increases, the resistance decreases. So again, Draw that axis down and try and give me a general trend as to how the LDR will change as light intensity increases. Pause the video while you do that. Okay, so, as it says on there, as light intensity increases, then LDR's resistance decrease, we get that trend again. 
So as line sensitivity goes up, resistance goes down. What might an LDR be useful for? LDRs are useful for detecting movement. They're detecting changes in the environment. So when that changes, it can trigger something because the resistance will change, trigger something else on. Quick exam question. This comes up sometimes in the exams. Describe how the resistance changes as the current through the filament lamp changes. Pause the video and try and answer that question. Okay, so we can see from the graph the trend as the current goes up, the resistance goes up. This is not a linear relationship. This is not directly proportional. It goes up by increasing amounts. So as the current increases, so does the resistance. This isn't a directly proportional relationship as it increases by increasing amounts each time. We can tell it's increasing by increasing amounts because it's a curve and not a straight line. If it went up by the same amount each time, it would be a straight line. Okay, finish up with some multiple choice questions. Pause the video and read through them and write your answer down. Okay, question one. The rate of flow of charge is a definition of which one of those three? Current, potential difference, or resistance? Rate of flow of charge is a definition of current. The unit of resistance is, is it the Georg, the Coulomb, or the Ohm? It would be the Ohm, named after that scientist. Three, Ohm's law is represented by which of the following equations? A, V equals I over R, B, V equals I R, or C, V equals R over I? Correct answer is B, V equals IR. Question four, if a graph shows a straight relationship, sorry, a straight line going up from the origin, what sort of relationship does this show? Would that be indirectly proportional, inversely proportional, or directly proportional? Because it comes up from the origin and because it's straight, that would be a directly proportional relationship. And finally, question five, as the temperature of a thermistor increases, what happens to the resistance? Does it increase, does it decrease, or does it stay the same? the resistance would decrease. Okay, thank you very much for uh, watching and participating. Uh, please review it again if you need to know anything and there's all the stuff on our YouTube channel. Uh, thank you so much. See you soon. Goodbye.